to have a command. Today we'll talk about using workspace identity to authenticate in cloud connectors. What is this? What exactly am I talking about? I'm talking about making your workspace in Microsoft Fabric to have an identity, to be identifiable, and using this identity to authenticate against other resources using the workspace identity to authenticate to other resources. Why would I like to do that? We have a workspace. In this workspace, we have a report that the user wants to consume. So the user wants to consume the report. Okay, but the report access a lake house. Let's say that the report is accessing a lake house through direct query or direct lake. In this case, the user is required to have permission on the lake house as well. And usually that's not good. I don't want the user to have permission on the lake house. That's not a good idea. So what we do to solve this situation? Between the report and the lake house, we create a cloud connection and we specify an identity for the cloud connection. However, most developers are used to put their own authentication, their own ID in this cloud connection. This is a terrible practice and horrible for security. The solution is that we can give the workspace an identity. The workspace can become an entity, can be a, a user itself. And we will authenticate in face of the lake house using the workspace identity. In this way, the end user will have access only to the report. He will be able to access the report without having any permission on the lake house. Let's see how we can do this. Here I have my workspace. In my workspace, I have a report and semantic model. They are always together. And I have a lake house. It's called private lake house. This is my lake house. My report consumes my lake house. I can open the report and see how the report is. Here is my report. I can see the report, no problem with that. But it's because I'm the admin of the workspace. What if I want to share this report with someone else? Let's say that I copy the link to the report. I'm giving permission to the, the user to see the report. I copy the link to this report. As a different user, I'll try to access the report, try to access the link. The report opens, I have permission over the report, but it needs to connect to the data source and the connection doesn't work because this user doesn't have permission to connect to the data source. This user doesn't have permission in the lake house. Let's see how to solve this using the work, workspace identity. Here in the workspace, I'll click in workspace settings, workspace identity, and I'll create an identity for this workspace. It's creating. That's it, the identity is created. Now my workspace has an identity which is the own name of the workspace, PBI private. This is the identity of the workspace. What exactly this means? To understand exactly what this means, I need to check this on Azure. Here I'm on Azure, more specifically in Active Directory, or as it is called now, Microsoft Entra ID. I use app registrations, and in the app registrations, I can look for PBI, and here it is. My workspace, PBI Private, became an app registration. Yes, when we create a workspace identity, we are in fact creating an app registration. In this way, I can use this app registration to authenticate in face of the sources. We already saw a video before about how to do that, how to use the app registration to authenticate. I need to copy the information about the app registration. I need the application ID, I need the tenant ID, and I also need to create a secret, as we did in the previous video. 
So come to secrets and create a new secret. My new secret add. I need to immediately copy the value of the secret. Now, using these three values, I can configure my connection in Power BI. Let's go to Power BI. I'm on the Power BI workspace again. So I get the semantic model clicking settings, gateway and cloud connections, and I create a cloud connection for my semantic model. The source is already configured, is the lake house is automatically configured. So I'll give a name for this connection, Monday connection. I'll specify the authentication. I use a CFC principle because I create an app registration. In fact, the workspace identity. So I use the workspace identity as the authentication. I will define the application ID is the CFC principle ID, the tenant ID, and the CFC principle key. Create. That's it, my semantic model is configured and my connection is created. I need to ensure that this identity has permission to access the lake house. I can come to the SQL endpoint and click on manage permissions. And because the lake house and the semantic model are in the same workspace, the PBI private is already included in the permissions to access the lake house. That's okay. In this situation, it's already working. So I need to prove that it's working. For my identity as admin, the new connection works, but now the report is accessed as PBI private. Here is the report. Okay, but it was working before. And about the other user. Let's test the other user. Let me make a refresh. Here is the report. The report is accessing the lake house using the CFC principle. In fact, the workspace identity as a CFC principle. The user looking to the report doesn't have any permission in the lake house. And this is a good configuration. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week.